the loin. Now, we're not going for any specific cut of this meat, but we got to portion it out in a way that is going to be beneficial to everybody that's going to use it. We're roasting it today, right? So if we look at this meat, you can see that there's a grain to the meat, right? Can you see that? It's kind of like wood. It's going that way, going that way. Sometimes it goes opposite of each other. But whenever you fabricate a piece of meat down, you want to first find out where the grain of the meat is going. Because when we slice the meat at the end, we're going to slice against it. Okay, so that means we want a nice long piece with the grain so that we can cut nice little things off. So what we'll first start going down this way. The other thing is, we talked about different types of connective tissue, right? Now, I want to take off the silver skin that's on here. It's also called, uh, it's not fat. So this white, this white stuff right here, this waxy buildup, is fat. This stuff right here that you can see is kind of uh, shiny. That's connective tissue. That's that stuff that doesn't break down. Okay, and that's that stuff that if we apply high heat to it, it shrinks up like a rubber band and dis, uh, disfigures our meat. So what we do is we just get our knife right up underneath of it. Okay? And we try not to waste. So we try to get as right up underneath that silver skin. We try not to take off a lot of meat. Okay? Is that the same, like the last issue of the chicken? Chef, when you say take out the um, take out the tendons, the tendons out the inside. This isn't a tendon though, but it's, it's the same idea of why we want to take it off because we don't want we don't want this to mess up our meat. get a hold of it and not waste so much, just go right up in the middle of a piece and then go right along that silver skin. And you get a little bit. So what you do is go back later, take off what you can. You know, I'm sure you guys can figure out a way to utilize that scrap somehow. And don't throw this away. We can brown this off in the pan, add a little bit of stock to it, add more flavor to it. It's all more flavor, right? Just utilize all of it. Because what is our philosophy around here? Well, 100% utilization. Close to So I, this piece isn't going to do much for me hanging off of here, right? So I'm going to cut. I'm going to get rid of it. Get rid of all the silver skin. Trim it up. Okay. And I'll let you guys do some of this too, so that you can get some practice. But what I'm going to do now, after I trim it all up, then I can start to portion it. And you take a look at it. Right? You see there's a big giant piece running right through the middle of it. That's going to be really tough. So we want to try to, if we can, go around it. If we can't, it's in the middle. That's just the way it is. So if you look about where that is, it kind of runs right down the middle. But we want to keep an eye on where these, there's different bundles of muscle. There's one right here and there's one in the middle. So we want to think about it. if we cut out too much and we over trim, it's going to fall apart. Okay. So maybe it's not a good idea to take that out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight down the middle with the grain. Okay, you see how sharp that knife is? Sure. And you, you take nice, easy cuts. Okay, I'm not sawing at it. All right, nice, easy cuts. So then I think we're going to get about four out of this. Okay. Or, let's see, how many groups we have? Five. Five groups. We're going to do, we're going to do four roasts. Okay, and I'm going to cut them up this way. It's about three times as long as this. I'll just show you how to truss this one. It's going to be a little bit easier to truss the big one. It's going to be a little easier to see how. We showed you how to trust the chicken already, right? Yes, sir. If you guys want to see again, if you missed uh, later on, I'll show you how to do it again. But here's how we start. Okay, this is how we use a, a longer piece of meat. So we'll start with 
start off like we're tying our shoe, just like I tie my apron, right? It's called the butcher's knot. Go. One more time around. That's going to hold it together while I tie the rest of the knot. So make sure it doesn't go nowhere. And on this end, we tie a knot. Okay? Then, we start going down the piece of meat. Take this around the bottom. want to make the next section, we're going to take this over and under, okay. and then make sure that it's in the right spot, and then you can just tighten it up, okay, <coughs> on the next spot. Okay. Is that the first thing? I don't know what that knot's called. Just, okay. Is it? Is it? Okay. So we're going to tear it both. <laughs> I'm trying to forget those knots are falling. I <laughs> remove myself from that environment. <laughs> I had to learn three to get my hand. I don't remember what they were. You want to try to get them, you want to try to get this nice and even, and then when you get to the last one, you might have had to make this a little bit longer. When you get to the last one, you can tie a knot again, uh, and you can leave it just like this. If you wind up with a little extra, you see how the knife, it took it into a nice tight shape? Yeah. Right? If you have extra at the end, you can flip it over, right? make sure that these are nice and tight. You always want to give it a good yank, and then you can just go back up underneath those and then tie it at the end. But generally about three times the, the length is what you're looking for. So then we can go take this and we can go roast it and it'll stay in nice shape, nice even cooking. And also, you see how it tightens it up a bit? So you guys are going to do this with this kind of meat. Actually, what do you do? So that little piece that we were talking about with the connective tissue that was running down there, you can trim that up and use it for something else. Maybe you guys trim it up and use it for stink, stink bites or whatever you do. Or stuff steak tartare. I'll stuff it in my bird. But now, this one it needs to have the silver skin trimmed off. This one. So we take a look 